Okay, so uh, I'll put F3 there to bring back the shaded view. Um, it's unrealistic actually there at the minute, so I can put, come down and just put it on shaded just so it doesn't show up all the extra shadows and all that sort of crap because we don't really need it right now. Um, one thing I will point out as well is uh, I tend to um, make the checker map a bit smaller in the actual material itself because it just means that we can see a whole lot more of it because here at the minute we're just in one, it's going to be one square here and maybe half another square there so if I hit the M key or just bring up the slate editor I can come over here to the actual uh, map number one bitmap this is the checker map here I'm just going to double click on this so that we can actually see the parameters and we can call this the unwrap helper if we like just so that we uh, know what it is uh, I can come down to the tiling here so I'm just going to stretch this off to the side for a second and I'll change the tiling of this actual texture map to tree by tree and you can see there that's a bit easier to see the right around the mesh now so I'm just going to close that off now uh, we do have a lot of little sections it looks like a big bloody pain in the mess pain in the mess uh, but we're going to come in and start moving sections of this out of the way so what I can do is just grab the whole lot of it or control A to grab the whole lot and just using the simple, I'm using the free transform there, you can just use, simply use the move tool and I'm just going to chuck all these guys out of the way at the minute because this is our workbench and this is all the crap outside that we can uh, we can work with and then move it into the workbench when we're finished. Um, okay, so I'm going to deselect them, I'm going to go to polygon. Now remember if I come out here and select the chair like that, we're actually only going to select one half of it. What I need to do is come down here to the uh, ignore back facing. I'm going to turn that off just for the minute and we can drag out, select the whole chair there. So that's the whole chair, great. And uh, uh, you can see here that the chair is broken up into loads of little pieces. So there's the, the back or the front and there's the other side of it and then the base and uh, the bottom part there as well. So. What I'm going to do for the minute is just drag all these out of the way. So as you can see, I'm just using, uh, just moving these UV clusters, and it's only moving the ones on the chair. All of this is the rest of the control panel. Okay, it might be difficult. I've got a really small screen here at the minute. I'm really not used to using this uh, this size screen. Uh, but we'll start off with say the front of it. So that's this section here. So I can click the polygon face in the viewport, and that will highlight it up here. What I want to do is select by element, so this icon here, once I click on that, then I can click on the element and I will select the whole section of it. I want to rotate that right around so we can use the rotate around pivot and just rotate it like that. And now you can see that the numbers are facing the correct way. Um, so which way will I want to unwrap this? I can unwrap it going around the top or around the side, depending on how we're going to actually split this chair up. Um, so I don't know which way, which way is best. Because if I maybe if we stitch this face here, the back of it will stitch onto it. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna select this here anyway and rotate it. Uh, let's let's try. It. The front the back should be okay there at the minute. Um, just gonna zoom in. I'm gonna uncheck the uh, select by element and then go into edge mode and just select this one edge here right click on this and uh, will we stitch it like that or will we break up everything so y you know by now if I right click on this edge here and stitch select it it will just pop that into place so one side of it is I think it's the other side of it uh, see that there's no green there so it's not stitched now we wouldn't want to really go in here and select these guys and stitch them uh, it just it, it just end up distorting the actual texture there so we don't want to do that now say if I didn't want to stitch that way and I want to stitch it right up and over uh, then I can come in here to the polygons select these polygons if I move them at the minute they're all stuck down together so I can simply come down underneath explode here and go to break once I click break 
then I'll lock my stitch together. I'm just going to undo that and uh, I'll keep them together at the minute. Right, so uh, the bottom of the chair comes out here. So I'm going to gra grab this section, um, this whole section actually. So I'm going to drag out, select the whole section, and I can use the uh, to go the UV selection, this icon here. here. Uh, it's the same icon. Uh, right, we'll just use it here anyway. Okay, so I'm going to grow this up and grow it right up to there actually. Now, this is all uh, flattened out at the minute at whatever degree. So instead of actually going in and uh, stitching these together, we can uh, put a cylindrical wrap on it because the basic shape of this object is a cylinder okay so I'm gonna just uh, minimize this for a minute and uh, in the uh, modify panel we can actually scroll up and uh, we've got projection here okay so I'm gonna click on the cylindrical projection map uh, when I click on that you can see that it creates a, a gizmo around it now it's not exactly straight down on top of it I can move the gizmo there and you can see how it's actually distorting uh, the texture map on top of it you can come in here and rotate it okay so I know that it roughly needs to be something like that so we can block it down there uh, the texture map looks very stretched there so it's not correct uh, we can fit it and we can use the basically tilt it on its back or its side by clicking these here so that's on its side of the cylinder was facing the other way but we know that this is correct in the Z. Okay, um, now what we can do is if we bring up the map here, you can see that it's, it's filled it completely out. Okay, now I can't come in here and I can't click and move these yet. What I need to do first is actually come out of the projection mode. Now I know at the minute that um, these are all squashed down. So while we're in projection mode, I can actually come into the scale just by right clicking and I can scale this up. Maybe scale it down in the center or scale it up. And basically we want to match it so that we can get as square as possible uh, images. Okay, so you can see that it was fully up to here and now I've scaled it. I've scaled the actual gizmo up, which in turn scales the actual UVs down. Okay, uh, I'm going to come in here and just turn off the uh, cylindrical projection. We can have a look at what we've ended up with. So if this is the side of uh, the size of the front and the back of the chair. I'm just going to go into free transform here and click on the top right corner and hold down the control key as I do it to just uh, uniform scale it. Now. If you can clearly see here that the seam of the object is around here. So when I scale it up, you can see that the pattern basically stops there and goes right around otherwise. So um, we can actually uh, change that. Now there's a couple of different ways that we can do that. If we move this down to here, say if we did want the seam slap, well, we can't actually put a slap bang in the center because there's no polygons or no edges coming down there. So if you want to change it to this section here, I can simply come in, grab that section there, break that off, move it over to here, just zooming in here, and then we can go into the edge and just stitch them together. Hold down control and select the other ones. So now we've actually moved uh, the stitched area or the seam area over. Now you can see here that there is a uh, distortion happening here. So 
we know that this is pretty much straight around so if we go into vertex uh, I'm just going to make this difficult because I want to make this screen bigger I want to be able to see everything I just, I just want it all um, right. okay, so that we can see the, um, the polygons there and at the top of the four you can see them as distorting so if I come in here and grab these guys at the top, that's this section up here. So the next one, these uh, UVs here are these ones around here. And these UVs that are very uh, vertically thin are these ones here. And that's why we're getting the stretch in there. So what I'm going to do is actually grab these here, hold down the shift key and drag them up. And as you see, when I drag them up, we're losing a lot of the distortion at the top there. So it's the same for the bottom here. So basically what I want to do is grab this vertex and all the vertex along the bottom, this vertex and all the vertex along the top, or the next row of uh, edges here, and move them all down. So come in here, select them two uh, lots of vertex, hold down the shift key, and drag that down and you can see that we're losing the distortion a bit anyway it's it's not perfect obviously um, another thing that we can do is grab all the vertex along here and simply align them vertically and that might help uh, we can try it over this side because that's these guys here That might actually uh, clean the mesh up or the UVs up a slight bit more. Uh, we can obviously come in here to these guys here and align them vertically or horizontally. Um, if I grab these guys along the top here, we can actually space them out. So we can space them out that way. Uh, that's not working in this case. I don't know what I want to do there, so um, I'm going to not do it. Okay, so the middle part there just seems to be a wee bit stretched, so I'm going to grab all these ones here near the bottom and drag them up to make these a little bit square, a little bit more square, and the same for the top guys there. Make them a bit more. More square. So I'm just holding uh, the shift key there as well when I do that. Okay, so we've got the um, bottom section done. Uh, we do want to match the size because whatever texture, like a letter texture or whatever we're applying to the chair and the top section, we want it to seamlessly go across to the bottom there as well. So I'm going to grab the whole bottom section down here and just, uh, I've got the free transform on again so I can hold control. The top right corner, you can see that the icon changes the scale. I'm just going to scale this down, and I know that it's going to be uh, roughly the size or the width of both the front and the back here. Okay, so if I go into edge mode, I can select these edges and just see where it builds it is. Okay, actually, so that's this edge here, that's this edge here. So if I was clever, I'd attach these guys together. And stitch them together as well. Now, I probably don't want all this crap over this side. So again, go into uh, Polygon, select this. Break it. Bring it over to the other side. And uh, just go into Weld. I'm sorry, stitch. I'm just gonna uh, stitch them together. Okay, so the chair is looking all right at this stage, and um, we've got the whole back of it at least, which is. 
this side over here and uh, coming straight down to the bottom uh, when I'm in perfect. There may be a bit of distortion on the bottom there, so I can actually just fix that while we're in here. Okay, a little bit wiggler. And again, I'm just moving these down to the two thirds. Move the uh, UVs up. Makes total sense. Um, okay, so the rest of the chair, what have we got here? Ooh, this is a bit of a mess. We'll go into polygon here. I'm going to select these polygons here. So that's the base of the chair there. And that's a good start. So I might actually start building the edges, which is these guys here. Straight out of that so that they will conform right down into it. And now we what we could do uh, if we want to is uh, actually attach the top part so the, the the seat part itself here to the base of the front section of the chair so along here so it really depends on how you're doing it I'm actually I'm after moving them all over to the other side so we can break that off and move it over there and then start sketching out the base of the chair there so uh, I might actually do that just to annoy us because uh, You've been watching this video and probably following along and now I've changed it all again. Okay, so we can stitch them because they're pretty much down on top of each other, that should be perfectly fine there. I'm gonna grab this one here, which I know is part of this section up here, and stitch that down onto it. So now the texture actually flows down directly onto that, which is uh, pretty fitting. Okay, so these are the side panels here. So I want to okay that's the one that's attached to the base down there. So I want to select the opposite one, which in this case will be this guy here, and we can stitch its uh, parts together. Now you can see there when I stitch together because the uh, angle of the chair is actually it is at an angle, um it's not going to stitch down perfectly. So I can right click here, stitch selected. And then we'll probably need to go into the actual parts themselves and move them a bit. You know, we're always going to be keeping an eye on the actual distortion on the, uh, the map itself. So you can see that's the inside part coming up and then coming down. And the other side, we'll want to attach them as well. So I'll go back into Edge, select this edge here, which is this guy here, and stitch selected. And I might stitch that up as well. So basically this whole section is stitched here. Now I do know that the front section here, I might want to stitch that down as well. So I'll select that, stitch selected, and I'll paste it down. Now what we can do is, because I roughly know the, the shape that we're putting down here, we can actually go into vertex and uh, start straightening this whole thing up if you wanted to. So if this was all straight, going to hold control. I'm actually I'm going to move these two verts out of the way first. And then grab these guys here, hold the control. And same for that there. Um, grab all these and I'll line them up that way. Grab them. See what I'm doing and just clean this up so that we have a completely flat area now onto a, a wood. Sh should align them as well, but I'm just going to quickly go through in here. Um, okay, so it looks a bit distorted there, but it means that if the texture was uh, lines over or something, it will conform to the actual chair as well. And it will be distorted because the actual physical object is distorted, so that should work out fine. Uh, let me just move this up. Side a bit, so you can see how the texture is uh, mapped down onto this, and that should be fine. Okay, so um, I'm going to stop the video for the minute, and we'll uh, continue on with the rest of it in a couple.